Hi, I'm Leanne Patton from The Whole Nine Yards. And today I'm going to be painting a mirror. I know a lot of people have gold mirrors, gold picture frames, so I just thought I would give this mirror a new look. So I've got Annie Sloan's Pure White Chalk Paint and I love this paint. It's very, very easy to work with. You can get a lot of different looks from this paint. You can do a sanded finish after you're through or you can take a damp cloth and then wipe off some of the paint and after it's dry and it's really easy without having to do a lot of sanding. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to wipe off some after I'm finished. I'm going to give this a really good stir just to make sure it's mixed up really well. Just reinvent it. Do something different. It's just paint. If you mess up, you can paint over it. So don't be afraid. I went ahead and taped the inside just because I didn't want to have to scrape the mirror when I was finished but you certainly don't have to take the time to do that and you can just scrape it with um, a razor after you're finished and basically i just want to give this a really good coat of the pure white and get in all the grooves and then i'll take some back off the top off the high spots so you'll see the gold that's in the background this is an easy paint to work with you don't have to be very particular about your strokes. It's actually better if you kind of go every which way, especially if you wax it at the end. When you put a wax on it after you're finished, it shows the, the different strokes that you've used, which is nice because it doesn't look so perfect. And we don't need for it to look perfect. Okay, I pretty much have a first coat on the entire mirror. Now I'm just going back over it again to make sure I get any little places that I might have missed. I could let it dry just a little bit longer and give it a really good second coat, but I don't really want to do that on this project. I really want to just make sure it's covered really well because I'm going to take some of the paint back off anyways. One thing I love about this paint is it does dry pretty quick. You can wax it and everything in the same day, so your project is completed in the same day. Okay, I've gone over this a couple of times. I did not let it dry thoroughly in between coats because I didn't want that much coverage. Okay, I have one coat on the mirror, and I went back over it with a second coat, but I did not let it dry completely between coats. If I'd let it dry completely, the second coat would have covered it a little more, but I didn't really want a real thick coverage. So now I'm going to take a damp rag and just lift some of the paint back off. And what that's going to do is bring some of the gold back to the surface. All of this uh, ornate work on the frame is what I'm going to pull the paint off. What's already kind of lifted up and what's on the base is what's going to stay a little whiter. Just take your damp rag and just go over the higher part of the mirror. And the more I do this, the more it's going to lift off. I have a dry rag here too. I'm going to use it to get a little bit more. The, the damp rag makes the paint a little more soft, I guess, to be able to lift it back off. Okay, now the mirror is completely dry, so we're ready for the wax finish. Really nothing to it. You just wipe it on and wipe it back off. I don't know if you can tell, 
it just gave it just a little bit more of a sheen than it had before. Almost flat, just a little bit of an eggshell type finish. Continue to buff it off. You don't want any big globs of wax in these crevices. Okay, that's about enough on the buffing. Now, I'm gonna get rid of this tape. Okay, so now that I'm finished with the wax, all I need to do is go back with the razor, just get off any paint, For more design tips and tutorials, be sure and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow us on one of our other social media outlets so you won't miss a thing.